Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. And before I start, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Ba'ashem Alright, I'm the brother Tazimak Amad, coming from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches truth and rule well. Peace and salutation to the whole fillet that scattered abroad. Alright, and this is from the link BBC News. And um, it says Russia says it, it rehearsed massive nuclear strike. Alright, and just going into a little bit. It says Russia has rehearsed its ability to deliver a massive nuclear strike. The Kremlin says. It says the military exercise involved delivering a response to an enemy nuclear strike. Defense Minister Surgery so Joey said. Alright. And um it says Russia and the United States conduct regular nuclear readiness simulations. Moscow has traditionally held its own towards the end of October. Alright, says the exercises this year involved delivering a massive nuclear strike by strategic offensive forces in response to an enemy nuclear strike. Alright. And um it says a Yars intercontinental ballistic missile was fired from a test site in Russia's far east, and another missile was fired from a nuclear powered submarine in the Barents Sea. Alright. And this is, you know, a still image from it. It says earlier this month, Mr. Pruin and Russia had held a final successful test. Of a nuclear powered cruise missile. Okay. And you know. What's it showing is. That the Lord is. Uh, is getting prepared to. To do. The, to uh, shoot these missiles. So let's actually go to. Uh, the book of Isaiah. Chapter 9 verse 5. Now it says. For every battle of the warrior. Is with confused noise. And garments rolled in blood, right? Because back in the ancient world, we wasn't fighting with guns and, you know, missiles. It was a up close, it was up in close combat, you know, with spears, shields. Spears, shields, and swords. You can watch that movie 300. Okay, that's a, a perfect representation of the scripture. Because garments rolled in blood, you know, the enemy had to come up and close to, you know, to uh, slay you. Alright. But it says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Okay, which translated to, you know, um, to what we have now. Technology being increased, Esau, his blessing is the sword. Okay. So, so for his blessing be the sword. All right, increase to missiles, you know, um, missiles and nukes. All right, you got your jets, you got your tanks, you got your guns. Okay, but the but this shall be with burning a fuel of fires. Really talking about these nuclear missiles. Okay, let's go to um, I believe Isaiah sixty three. It's not Isaiah 63. Um, it's Isaiah 54 and 16. All right. Isaiah 54 and 16 it says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. And when you read this article, you know, the U.S. and the Russia, you know, these two powerhouse countries, they're practicing on shooting their missiles, okay? Which showed you that, you know, the Smith, a blow of the coals in the fire, which will be your modern day scientist, you know, a weapon maker, you know, but now they got, you know, people that, that, uh, that are expertise 
in nuclear in nuclear science and making these missiles. All right. It says, "Behold, I have created the smith that blow up the coals and that fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. Okay. And this is a waster to destroy, man. Okay, a nuclear missile. Let's see if I can find the video." Okay. You know why this why this goes, but the Lord's created a waster to destroy. Okay. Because guess what? The Lord's gonna use that instrument of work to destroy destroy America, destroy, you know, different parts of the world, but mainly America, all right, but this is the, um, the video right here. Russia says these missile launches are part of a successful rehearsal for a massive retaliatory nuclear strike. That's how Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu characterized it to President Vladimir Putin in footage aired on Russian state TV. It's a show of force that coincides with Moscow moving quickly to revoke its ratification of a treaty banning nuclear tests. A de-ratification bill unanimously passed Russia's upper house of parliament on Wednesday. Putin... But you see that. You know, Russia's firing and testing its missiles. All right. And let's actually go to uh, the NLT. All right. In the NLT, it says, I have, it says there, 5416 NLT, it says, I have created the blacksmith who fans the coals beneath the forge and make the weapons of destruction. I have created the armies that destroy because really, this is part of the Lord's army, okay? These nukes, it's all part of the Lord's army. So let's actually, let's go to, uh, now let's go to Jeremiah 50. Let me see. I want to get the main point right here. This is Jeremiah 50 and uh, 14, okay, because ultimately, at the end of the day, the Lord is going to put, something's going to happen where, you know, the Lord is going to make all these nations shoot, shoot at Babylon, which would be America today. Now it says, Jeremiah 15, 14, it says, Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she have sinned against Yahweh. Okay, now let's hold off on this uh, precept. And let's go to the book of Joel, um, the third chapter. Okay. And when you go down... To Joel 3 and 9, it says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, which these other nations. Prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Now it says, Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, right? Your forming tools, make them into weapons. Okay? Now it says, let the weak say, I am strong. Okay, and how are these weak nations saying they're strong now? Like Iran, you know, India, you know, all these uh, small nations versus America and Russia. It's because they've been, they've been, um, they've been given uh, nuclear missiles, man. They've been given nuclear missiles, 
all right, to say that I'm strong now. Now they're, they're able to, you know, to threaten you, all right. Now when everything happens, they're not going to spare their arrows. They're not going to spare their, their nuclear missiles. So when we go back to Jeremiah 50, and where was I? Well, when you go to Jeremiah 50 and 14, it says, Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about all ye that bend the bow. Okay, so all these nations, even the, the small nations, are going to bend the bow. It says, shoot at her. All right, shoot at who? Shoot at America. Spare no arrows, for she have sinned against Yahweh, because uh, America is the one that uh, influenced the world to fornicate, to go against Yahweh Bashim Shai. And ultimately, you know, they, they promote things that are contrary to Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. You know, it's a melting pot full of wickedness here. Okay. Now it says, shout against, again, it says, shout against her round about. She have given her hand, her foundations are falling, her walls are thrown down. All right. It says, for it is the vengeance of Yahweh. Take vengeance on her as she have done do unto her. Okay. So, hey, man, she's going to be destroyed. Once one new kid is, is just going to be coming back to back to back. Um, damn, there's another scripture I was thinking about. Um, now let's grab this. Um, all right, now this is, uh, Matthew 12 and uh, 26. It says, if Satan cast out Satan, he's divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And ultimately, Russia, when we go back to uh, this article right here in uh, BBC, when we go back to this article right here, um, where, is, where is it at? It talks about U.S. Kind, you know, where it talks about, you know, Russia and America, they, you know, they've been, they practice for just in case of that time. Oh, right here. That's where it's at. It says Russia and United States conduct regular nuclear readiness simulations. All right. It says Moscow has tradition, traditionally held its own toward the end of October. So, you know, U.S. and Russia conduct, you know, nuclear nuclear uh missile readiness okay so hey if satan casts out satan because really the russians they're edomites all right and they're divided against himself how shall the kingdom stand the lord is literally putting in their mind to shoot missiles against each other and you know um esau has been blessed with the sword which really Ultimately, the Lord finesse Esau once again, but it's really just a curse upon him because the same sword he's using is going to be the same instrument that's going to destroy him. Okay, now let's uh let's prove that in the book of Psalms, uh, the seventh chapter. All right, now this is Psalm seven and fifteen. It says, he made a pit and digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. Okay, so ultimately when the Lord, you know, gifted Esau with the, the power of the sword, the power of the nuclear missiles, you know, and, you know, Esau, his pride, he thinks that, you know, you know, once I destroy this country, I'll be on top again. All right. 
But really, that's just for your own destruction. And that's why I brought out, you know, the blessing of Isaac when he gave to Esau. Because ultimately, that's just going to return upon his own head and destroy him at the at the last end. Okay. So let's go to... Uh, Second Ezra sixteen and let's get a uh, revelation in the ninth chapter. Alright, this is Revelation nine and fifteen. It says And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year. For to slay the third part of men. Okay. Now the four angels that are loose. Are the four angels that are holding back the winds. Of the four corners of the earth. When you read it in the gospel. For the elect. Alright. The winds that they're holding back is the nukes. Because it's going to be an ultimate. Devastation. Okay. The earth is going to. Uh, shake to and fro like a drunkard. Alright. And you know you're going to have. When we're in the kingdom, these nations are going to look look at Esau. Is this the man to make the earth tremble? As the scripture is written. <laughs> that made the, the earth in fear and tremble. Because uh, Esau is going to be such a base man. They're going to belittle him. Alright. So the four angels that were loose are the four angels that are holding back these nukes. Okay. That are going to be prepared for one hour. One day, one month in the year. Okay, it's going to be a certain time period where these nukes are going to be shot off. And America is going to be destroyed in one hour. Okay. It says, for to slay the third part of men. The third part of men is the sons of the wicked. Okay. Because you have uh, three classifications of men. You got sons of God, sons of men, sons of the wicked. Okay. Sons of God are the Israelites. Sons of men are the heathen nations, and the sons of the wicked is uh, Esau, Edom, so-called white man, that runs this earth. All right, verse 16, it says, And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, 200 million. Okay, so what John was seeing was the army of all these missiles. All these missiles getting shot off from one end of the earth to the other. Okay. It says, and I heard a number of them. And it says, and thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of jasmine, and of brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, because he, what, he, what John was seeing was intercontinental ballistic missiles. They, they uh, left the atmosphere, all right, and, and they come back down to earth to hit their mark. All right, not one missile is going to break their rank and hit each other. They're all going to hit a certain destination. It says, and out of their mouths issue fire and smoke and brimstone. Okay, so he's seen them getting shot from the silos and, you know, going to the atmosphere to hit their mark. And it says, by these three was the third part of men killed by the fire by the, and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouth, okay, so the third part of men is killed, now let's go to Isaiah, what is it, 24, I believe This bathe in heaven. I believe Isaiah 34. Yeah, Isaiah 34. So let's get Isaiah 34. And we start verse 4. It says, And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falleth from the vine, and, the, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. So what Isaiah seen was, you know, the mushroom cloud and 
you know, the rulership, okay, of, you know, um, Esau Edom being dissolved, okay, when you look in the sky, you're going to see them big mushroom clouds roll together, man, all right, big missiles, man, it's going to be memorial for all of us to see <laughs> what happens when you do wickedness, all right, verse 5, it says, my sword shall be bathed in heaven, behold, it shall come down upon Idumea, and upon the people of my curse to judgment, all right, and the Lord, the sword bathed in heaven is these uh, ICBMs, all right, because they're leaving the earth into the atmosphere to break off, and, you know, the warhead come back down to hit its mark, so the Lord is bathing the sword in heaven, it says, it says, behold, it shall come down upon Idumea, all right, which is the Greek, Greek way of saying uh, Edom, okay, and upon the people of my curse to judgment, the Lord cursed these people, okay, to mark them. All right, it says the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made with fat, with fatness, and with the blood of lambs and goats, and the fat of kidneys of rams. And Yahweh have sacrificed in Basra, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. <laughs> so the Lord is looking at America as a big altar for a big sacrifice, okay. So let's go to uh, Second Ezra 16, and um, let's get the main point. It says, uh, 2 Ezra 16, 13, it says, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss, when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. All right, and all these missiles are getting shot from the ends of the world. It says, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out until it consume the foundation of the earth. It says, Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that be sh shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. All right, and these arrows, you know, which will represent these missiles, they're not going to return back into their silos. Once they're shot, they're shot, man. Okay, they're not going to return again. And this this is the last ultimate plague the Lord is going to use. So people in the earth will fear the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. They're going to fear the Lord and fear what he's going to do. As we warned our people, all right, and they don't take heed, they're going to see them missiles come through the sky, man. All right, Russia's practicing their nuclear missiles. America's practicing their simulations. Is is ultimately to practice for that for that last time, where everything's gonna go good and clear. The Lord's gonna put His Spirit upon these missiles, and they're gonna go right to where they need to be. All right. So with that, you know, Lord wins us and been edifying. Want to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Shemuel, Shabbat, Shemuel, Kadosh. Till next time, I say Shalom.